We got our man Sean Edwards. He is vice president with direction of institutional ETF strategist, and we welcome him back to TFNN. Sean, welcome back. Tommy, thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure, man. Um, I'm glad we got you back, and boy, we got quite a day, Sean, so it's always great. You think we timed it, folks, but we do the interviews really <laughs> once a month, in the middle of the month, around on a Wednesday usually, and today we get NVIDIA earnings. The whole market's waiting for it, Sean. Uh, what do you think about it? They got some expectations, man. I know you guys got some great ETFs around them, but what do you think about NVIDIA tonight after the bell? Sure. So you're, you're right. Uh, the timing couldn't be even uh, any more perfect, I should say, Tommy. So N NVIDIA, as we know, has been the rock star so far this year. It's up nearly 200 uh, percent year to date. And the market's eagerly anticipating earnings today just to see, you know, the impact that NVIDIA is going to have on the rest of the market. Uh, there's reports from Barclays that, you know, the earnings today is probably the most important uh, report so far uh, for the remainder of the year. So we'll see. Uh, as you know, as we all know, NVIDIA is at the forefront of the AI boom. And so that's partly the reason that the stock is up 200% year to date as one of the largest producers of GPU. So the chips that most companies use uh, to, to help, uh, you know, whether it's artificial intelligence or computing, uh, NVIDIA is, is behind that growth. Uh, so there's a few things I just want to point out when it comes to NVIDIA's growth this year. As I mentioned, it's spurred on because of the generative, the generative AI boom, uh, supercomputing demand, uh, e even the evolving metaverse, uh, and then also within uh, cryptocurrency. As I mentioned, NVIDIA's GPUs are essential for crypto mining. So that is that's been boosted during the cryptocurrency uh, resurgence that cryptocurrency resurgence that we've seen recently. Uh, so a few different factors are leading to Nvidia's growth so far this year. Uh, what I wanted to do is just highlight a few trading ideas uh, as it relates to Nvidia. Um, and as you know, and thank you for the disclaimer at the top of the show, uh, uh, direction we we're providing. Uh, leverage ETFs are tactical short-term trading tools, not your buy and hold investment vehicles. These are tactical short-term trading tools. Uh, so again, with earnings uh, being today uh, for NVIDIA, I wanted to highlight the Direction Daily NVIDIA Bull 2X and Bear 1X ETF. Uh, um, I wanted to highlight this fund in particular because if you are a trader and you're looking to trade around earnings, whether you're bullish or bearish NVIDIA, in the stock price movement, you can look at utilizing either NVDU, which is the 2X bull ETF uh, for NVIDIA, or NVDD, which is the inverse 1X uh, bear ETF on NVIDIA. Uh, inflow so far this year within this product suite has been nothing short of, you know, just growth. That's all you can think of. It's 780 million uh, in assets within NVDU. So a lot of traders are, uh, you know, flocking to trade those short-term price movements within NVIDIA. Uh, so uh, opportunity there if you're looking to trade short-term uh, movements with NVIDIA. Again, the tickers are NVDU, which is the 2X bull ETF on NVIDIA, and then NVDD, which is the inverse bear uh, 1X ETF on NVIDIA. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, NVIDIA's role uh, within the market overall this year, um, it, it's you, you can't understate it. Uh, NVIDIA's networking tech helps companies make their AI infrastructure faster and more efficient. And so some of NVIDIA's biggest uh, customers include the, the cloud giants that we all know of. So Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Meta. So the, uh, additionally, there are some trading opportunities that exist there as well. If you want exposure to the broader technology sector or artificial intelligence related equities. So I wanted to introduce uh, a few additional ETFs. So bear with me. I know it's kind of an alphabet soup. But if you do want broader exposure to the semiconductor sector, you can look at trading ticker symbol SOXL, which is the 3X uh, semiconductor bull ETF, or you can look at utilizing ticker symbol SOXS, which is a 3X bear ETF on the NYSE semi semiconductor sector index. 
So again, that's if you are looking to trade the short-term price movements within the semiconductor sector and those related equities. And as it relates to artificial intelligence, as I mentioned, some of those names are spending quite a bit to build out their AI infrastructure. Uh, so again, the likes of Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and Meta. Uh, so if you do want exposure to an index that's giving you uh, exposure to those names, you can look at trading uh, ticker symbol AIBU, which is a 2X bull ETF on AI and big data. And then AIBD, which is the inverse 2X that gives you inverse exposure on AI and big data names. Um, and so, as I mentioned before, uh, within the iSemiconductor Index, some of the top names would be AMD, Broadcom, NVIDIA, and Qualcomm. And then within the AI and big data index, those top names, as I mentioned before, Meta, NVIDIA, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft. Um, and so a, a few trading opportunities, again, all, uh, you know, pulling from NVIDIA. With NVIDIA's growth um, and the demand for their GPUs, and their, which are their semiconductor chips, you're seeing a lot of companies invest uh, a lot of money into, um, and, you know, AI. And that's through buying, you know, the semiconductor chips, which NVIDIA is one of the largest producers of. And so, Tommy, I appreciate I, the breakdown. Just to say, I mean, yeah. people love, I know it is a word salad, but we got to know those word salads these days. They're talking yes. about those word, word salads in the Tiger's Den every day. Um, SOXL, man, you know, that's a juggernaut. I know that's a great product. We got a bunch of uh, traders in there. And yeah, I expect uh, your name and all those companies, right, that are all going to move probably this afternoon. We find out on NVIDIA. I wanted to ask you real quick on the downside, what's so cool about some of these stocks I found myself. NVIDIA is a great example, I think. You have such a run up of course, on these equities, NVIDIA in particular. And it's so cool. Do you ever see, do you have people, I mean, I think about it, for those that have you, maybe they don't want to, you know, get out of the stock right now. Maybe they have capital gains, but maybe they don't want to go into an earnings event where you have a 9% move in either direction and you have the downside that you can either, you know, hedge yourself. Is that something you see happening with your ETFs on these single stocks, especially for some of these highly volatile equities? Sure, absolutely, Tom. That's exactly one of the reasons why we launched inverse single stock ETFs. So uh, exactly as your example explained, if you have concentrated positions in NVIDIA, um, you can look at utilizing NVDD. You wouldn't have to close out your NVIDIA position, create a taxable event, or you know, realize a capital gain, but instead simply utilize NVDD. Uh, as a trading tool to hedge your NVIDIA. Tool. It's pretty cool. Can you hang with us for one more quick segment, Sean? I want to talk about China because I know um, China's in the news. And can you hang with us for one more quick segment? Sure, no problem. We'll be right back, folks. We're going to talk a little bit of China. We'll, talk, we'll be right back with Sean. Stay Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps down by just six points right now. You got the Dow up 115. This market catching a little bit of a bid coming into the closing bell. We're talking to our man Sean Edwards from Direction. We've been talking some technology. And just to finish that up, Sean, because those single stock ETFs, I was even taking a look in the break. I've traded the Tesla ones as well. I know you got Broadcom, Micron, Taiwan Semiconductor. I pulled up a list. Um, if you haven't checked it out, folks, uh, check it out. Meta, right? Microsoft. I'm just going to Netflix. Uh, Google, yes. Broadcom. So check those out because it is amazing when you think um, just how complex it used to be in terms of shorting, hedging, and now we have simple products that provide for that. So we jump to China. Tariffs in the focus. We get to find out what uh, the reality of the next administration is going to be, but people have some guesses, and that's a little volatility for China. Talk to me about China so, a little bit, Sean, if you can. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, yes, Tommy, I think we all um, have seen in the news that uh, the next administration – uh, can potentially um, place a 60% or higher tariff on all Chinese imports. So what that means is opportunity exists in the market, right? So cool. with that news coming from you know uh, the U.S., the Chinese government also recently announced a $1.4 trillion stimulus package. They've also signaled that they would look to forcefully counter any external challenges to China's growth. So pretty strong language. So if you are interested in trading around possible tariffs on China, uh, you can look at utilizing uh, the Direction Daily FTSE China Bull and Bear 3X ETF. The ticker symbols there are yin and yang. 
And so the exposure there for yin and yang are the 50 largest and most liquid public Chinese companies trading on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So again, if you're anticipating that uh, you uh, that there will possibly be tariffs, uh, you can look at simply that broad exposure there to the, the 50 largest and most, li- most liquid Chinese companies by trading yin and yang. And again, those are 3x bull and bear ETFs on the daily FTSE China index. Additionally, if you wanted a broader exposure, uh, you could look at trading ticker symbol CWEB, that's C-Web, and that gives you exposure to the CSI China Internet Index. And those are Chinese companies whose primary business is the internet or internet-related sectors. And so that's a bull 2X ETF. And then lastly, if you want more exposure to China, you can look at trading ticker symbol CHAU. And that's a bull 2X EF, e- ETF on the CSI 300 China a share market. And so the, the, those are the 300 largest and most liquid stocks in the Chinese A share market. So if you're anticipating that there's possible tariffs on China, you can look at trading those ETFs. Now, we know that if tariffs are in fact placed on China, that may present opportunities in the emerging markets. So I'll mention briefly ticker symbol AXXCH. And that's the Direction Daily MSCI Emerging Markets X China Bull 2X ETF. So those are 23 large and mid cap securities um, that give you exposure to 24 emerging markets with the exception of China. So again, uh, this is all uh, a trading play around possible tariffs on China and how that could impact the emerging market as well. Uh, so again, more ticker symbols. Uh, save the screen if you can. Uh, That's but right. A few we archive. ETFs. We are. Yes. We archive. archive this interview, folks. It'll be right up on our YouTube page because it's a lot of symbols, but they're great symbols. Yes. I was checking out um, that C Web one, and pretty interesting, right? Alibaba, I think like 11 percent, 10 cent. I mean, we know them all, so it's pretty cool. Even just the yeah. diversification that you can get with ETFs nowadays in the same way. Uh, you know, just Alibaba, Tencent, JD.com, Pinduo Duo, Trip.com. Uh, names we're very familiar with packaged for exposure to all of that, which is pretty cool. Well, Sean, I appreciate the time, man. That was uh, quite a wrap-up as we come into an important afternoon, but you covered a lot of great topics. We appreciate the education as always, and we look forward to having you on back next month as always. No problem, Tommy. Thanks, thanks for having me. My pleasure.